Hey guys, Lemmy here and welcome back to another video. I wanted to do a video on a topic that some kids could relate to and something that has happened to me personally. I've had several people during my Twitch streams tell me that they've encountered a similar problem that I had when I was younger. So I feel like this would be an interesting idea to talk about. The idea of your art teacher hating your drawing style or just plain hating you. <laughs> Back when I was a wee lassie in high school, all of the electives I had chosen were art related. There were three teachers in the art department and I had all of them but one. Ironically, the only teacher I did not have during those four years was the only teacher that was ever nice to me. She had started during my senior year before I left the school system. She gave me a compliment on one of my paintings that I did uh, with acrylic paint and she said it looked like oil paint and it looked really awesome. So before I go any further, I just want to quickly say that this topic is about high school teachers. It's important to mention this detail because a teacher may have a very large influence over a student and their future career at this point in their lives. So I'll just say it how it is. My experience with my high school art teachers largely impacted my decision not to end up going to art school. I fully realize that the title of this video may be a little ambiguous. Did they not like my art style or did my teachers not like me? I actually ended up feeling like it was a bit of both. My teachers outwardly spoke about how much they hated anime, and if I was going to do art like that, I should model my art after Disney, as their style of artwork is, quote, better. My brother also used to be an artist, and he drew a lot of anime art as well. And yes, I'm totally aware of the difference between anime and manga, but back in the day, everyone I knew just referred to it as anime and so did the art teachers, so that's what I'll be referring to it as today. Not to mention the Japanese kids that went to school with me. But anyway, <laughs> my brother wanted to go to art school and at a parent-teacher conference, my mom had asked, well, she had a heart-to-heart -heart with one of the teachers. She asked him if my brother should consider going to art school or not, and he flat out told her no because of him using references and drawing anime, a combination of the two. So anime isn't considered fine art, and because he uses references, he couldn't draw from imagination. And this I found to be ironic since both teachers heavily recommended the use of references in any and all art pieces. Um, they were even outwardly annoyed when you didn't use one. In fact, for most pieces, we had to put together a collage of references in our sketchbooks before moving on to creating our sketches and then our finished pieces. We were even graded on it as an assignment. So anyway, to get back on topic, my brother ended up not going to art school because of what the teacher had said. Ultimately, he even stopped doing art altogether. At that point in my brother's life, he was looking for guidance and he had been discouraged from proceeding with an interest he had. When he stopped drawing altogether, he had explained to me that all he could do is copy references and he didn't have the creativity to draw on his own. And I always wondered if part of his quitting had been because of what the teachers had said to him. So. While my brother was a senior wondering if he should pursue a career in art, I was a freshman just starting high school. Since I began from the get-go, one teacher specifically didn't seem to like me too much because he found out I was related to my brother. <laughs> it didn't help that I also drew in that anime style that he outwardly said he hated. Uh, we had assignments where he had us complete five free sketches in our sketchbooks a semester. We could draw anything that we wanted and it didn't matter what it was and he stressed this. However, after my first sketchbook assignment was turned in, my teacher told me that I could not submit anime work as it isn't really considered art. 
From that point on, my teachers began to control my creative freedom within my sketchbook. That, or I'd get an F on the assignment. So generally, I try not to take things too personally. Normally, I would say, hey, he doesn't like the art style. That doesn't mean he doesn't like me, you know. But time went on and I was treated differently than the other students. The teacher would call us up when we were drawing a still life and evaluate our pieces one by one, grading them. And the room was completely silent, so everyone could eavesdrop while they worked. In fact, I think that's why it was so quiet. <laughs> so anyway, he's giving everyone A's or B's, and it's my turn to go up to him and have him look at my piece. Now, I'm not an artistic genius or anything, but compared to the rest of the class, my piece was pretty much better than all of my classmates except for one. There was this girl named Corinne, and she had a really pretty piece um, that she had done, and it was on brown craft paper, and it was like a really cool psychedelic coloring. Everyone else's drawing looked really bad. The proportions were off between the items in the still life, the shading was poor, there were lots of flaws. You know, it's high school art, so you know, no one's fantastic. <laughs> But the teacher had complimented everyone on their art pieces, and he gave out some pointers to a few students. When he called my name, I walked up to him and showed him my picture. It had a lot of glass items and different pattern cloth in the picture, and it was very detailed. And from the middle of the piece outward, it faded into lines. It was actually kind of a really cool way to present a still life from realistic in the middle into a basic artsy sketch on the outsides. So it kind of broke the immersion of looking at something and revealed it's a piece of art, not life. Or that's what I was trying to go for. So he takes one look at it, turns to me and he says, give me one good reason I shouldn't fail you right now. And I remember laughing and then realizing he was dead serious. There were other times too where I felt singled out, like the whole class would be talking to one another, and the female art teacher who didn't like me came out and yelled at me to shut up, and she just said, Sh like, shut up Lori, my name's Lori, and she addressed me specifically. And the class became dead silent, and they all stared at me. So my friends hesitated a moment and then said, but you were the only one who wasn't talking. <laughs> and somehow I wasn't surprised. This is the same teacher that tried to give me the only failing grade I ever received in my lifetime, even though at that point she never even gave me the assignment. Okay. And at that point, I was tutored at home because my brother had cancer. So if you don't give me the assignment to do, it's impossible for me to actually complete it. Because, you know, I'm not at school. I don't know what you want unless you send it home. So let's move forward in the years. It's my final year of high school. During your senior year, if you are an artist, you are allowed to have a senior showcase to show off your art in a trophy display in the main section of the school. Basically, anyone who comes into the building sees your art because it's staring at them in the face. Guess who wasn't allowed to have a senior showcase? This gal! <laughs> but all the students that they liked or that had been invited into AP art were allowed to have one. Oh yes, guess who wasn't allowed to take AP art even though they had all the prerequisites completed? This gal! So was it the chicken or the egg that caused this to happen? Was it the anime or was it me? Did they hate me because of the anime or did they hate me and I happened to make anime art? I really don't know. Funny side note, Remember when I told you guys about my old friends that I used to have that hated Susie back from the Jealousy in the Art Community video? My teachers absolutely loved that girl. 
She got into AP art without doing any of the required classes because she drew pictures that they just liked. Her artwork was mostly portraits. However, they kind of looked like melted people because she wasn't very good at drawing portraits. And this is in high school, keep in mind. Um, they thought she drew this way on purpose because it was artsy looking, but she only drew that way because she couldn't draw it right. This kind of solidified the, yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys hate me and or my art style theory. I think what bothers me the most about these experiences is that a teacher's job is to prepare you for the future. High school art teachers specifically help you prepare an art portfolio in which you can use to apply to colleges. And I completely understand giving students specific assignments which look good for your portfolio. And I completely understand encouraging students to try to draw new things and use different techniques. But what I don't understand is discouraging a child from a future doing something that they enjoy. Or let's just say that a kid doesn't want a future in art. They just love doing it as a hobby. Why must a teacher discourage a kid from drawing what they would like to draw in their sketchbooks, especially if they don't need or want a portfolio? So a little known fact about me is that I actually went to school to teach. I have a master's degree and three teaching certifications in the state of New York. And I think a lot about what if I had just went to art school. But more often than that, I think about how I would have taught a high school art class. I wouldn't have sat in the corner of the class and sculpted weird looking statues for my personal collection. I wouldn't have sat in the corner of the class and painted my weird fish with human faces collection. I wouldn't have picked favorite kids to put on a pedestal created using the bodies of kids I didn't like. If a kid has a dream, you help foster it, not snuff it out. If a kid wants to go to art school, you help them make a quality and varied portfolio. If a kid wants to do art as a hobby, you let them have artistic freedom to express themselves in whatever way they want. You give every kid a fair chance to be in whatever class that they want to be in, and you don't play favorites based on art styles. You reward a child based on merit, not likability. I fully realize that this video sounds very salty, but I feel very passionately about this subject. I suppose there's one last thing to say about teachers. When you're older, you realize that teachers are just people. When you're younger, you tend to kind of look up to them as a role model, but adults are just big kids. Just because a teacher tells you that you suck doesn't mean that it's true. I took two college level art classes for fun, and those two professors that I had absolutely loved me. They were just so supportive and helpful to every one of their students, regardless of their skill level, and they addressed each of those kids' specific needs. Instead of painting a fish with a human face in the corner, they actually walked around and gave information on how to improve your artwork. You know, how a teacher should. Don't let what a person tells you affect your passion for something. If you really love something, you'll make it work. And I'm a firm believer that if one person doesn't like your artwork, there will be a hundred people that will. One last thing that I will say that is very important, even if you have a teacher who doesn't like your art or doesn't like you, they still may say some important things that you should listen to. So if you can sort out art tips, or information that can help you become a better artist, hold on to that information. If someone is saying something that is just hurtful, rise above it and continue onward. So <laughs> that's enough about me. What about you? Did you guys have any teachers that gave you a 
similar experience to what happened to me? How did you deal with it? Did it impact your future plans at all? And how did it make you feel? Let me know. I love to read all of your stories. And I think that is um, what is most fun about these videos. You know, everyone has different experiences and different views, and it's really fun to share. Oh, um, before I go, did you guys notice that I drew a super anime girl? Like, super duper anime like? Yeah. I purposely picked the most obnoxious one I had stored on my computer. <laughs> so take that, art teachers! <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Talk to you then. Bye!